you see a line wrapped around a building, what's that make you think? This is awesome. Um, you know, just another way that we can get out in the community and, um, you know, show our fans that we love them and we appreciate them. Uh, like you said, this line is, is unreal. Um, we're just happy to be here and um, help in any way we can. Callis talked a lot about how doing stuff like this can make you all better Oh, I, def I definitely agree. Um, you know, we had a we had like seven new guys last year. And we kind of did a similar thing, um, and the way that we come together doing these kind of things um, is kind of what he says. Like just us three being here. I mean, obviously we were on the same team last year, um, but just being out here together and spending time with each other and spending time with the fans, um, you see personalities. Um, so, coach is definitely right in that aspect. Okay, it's going really well. Um, mentally, it's been a really great summer for me just because I'm back playing. Um, so just being back playing and being with the team and just playing basketball again is uh, something that I'm really happy about. Was the one aspect that you did you, was it harder than you anticipated having to sit on the floor? This second injury was definitely harder mentally just because I had just finished rehabbing my first one and then I've never had to miss an entire season playing basketball. Um, so not being able to play for a whole year definitely was immensely hard on me just because I love the game so much. Um, but I'm in a really good spot right now. Do you make you appreciate it more when you do get back and play? Most definitely. You learn to appreciate everything, you know, appreciate your legs. Um, I definitely have a much bigger appreciation for my body and how I use it. How are you in that process right now? How far along in your rehab at least? Uh, rehab wise, I'm, I really don't do much rehab anymore. Just treatments after practice, making sure that I come in before practice and get a good stretch. And after, like I said, after practice, making sure that any soreness or I can get it out. But like I said, I'm back practicing and just getting up and down with the team right now. You talked about a ramp up period not too long ago. Is that still kind of the schedule that you're on as well, leading up to the Bahamas so you yeah. can play there? Yeah, so I mean, I'm not, if we do a two and a half hour practice, I'm not, I'm not gonna be going two and a half hours, five on five. I'm just slowly, gradually getting um, to a point where I can do that. But I'm still doing a lot of things right now. So the plan is to play in the Bahamas yes. still? Yes, yes. When you are out there, what do you think the big nation is going to see out of you? That's a that's a good question. I think, well, I hope they see someone that just plays super super hard, um, someone that's going to make shots and just compete on both ends of the floor, make the right play always, um, and just help the team in any way I can. What do you think about Jacob Thompson? I actually like. You should have seen him earlier. He had this like this little '70s afro. I kind of liked it. Um, I think the, I think he should rock that this year. Who's too hot for that? I think he should rock it. Who's your favorite teammate? It's kind of messed up. I like everybody. I love everybody. Wow. I don't have a favorite. I'm gone. If that hurt my is, feelings. The Bahamas trip is going to be the best team of the year. Why, why should we think it would be any different? What do you expect from that trip? Um, you know, I, I expect our team to just go out there and compete. Um, you know, it's good for a lot of reasons because you're playing – we're playing older guys. Um, I mean, we're playing some professional teams. Those are dudes that dudes that make money and provide for their family. So I mean, it's not going to be just go tip the ball and it's going to be fun. No, you're playing dudes that are making money and you know it's a living for them. So it's going to be good competition for us. Um, it's an early test to see where we're at. Um, you know, a lot of teams don't get to do that, and we get to do it in August and see where we're at and see what we need to work on. What have you noticed with your strength, new strength and conditioning coach? Just kind of how's he helped you in your process so far? Yeah, he's awesome. Um, you know, I have a great relationship with him. I think one of the great things about him is he's just super personable. You know, he always has a smile on his face, laughing with us. Um, and he's really big on the technology side. Uh, he's kind of brought in some new things. And for a guy like me who's had a, a decent amount of injuries, it's good for me to be able to, you know, see the way my body's working and, um, you know, see one day maybe maybe I'm not working as hard or maybe I'm a little sore and I can it's just good for me to be able to see that kind of stuff um, but he's really good I like him a lot Jacob talked about like you know, the new technology as well is there any particular piece of equipment or technology that's really you know struck out to you or you've used a lot yeah for me it's probably the force plates uh, every day we go in there you you just jump at your max peak that you can and it just looks at every little thing in your body um, what muscles are working, what muscles aren't working. So for me, it's really good to see, is my left hamstring firing today? You know, is it 
uh, and what's it firing at? Is it is it at its peak? Am I good today? Do I need to do a little more? Um, so that's that's probably my favorite thing, just because it's going to help me the most. Well, you get somebody like that who knows technology and can show you ways to use it to make you better. How much does that make you more open to trying different things, stuff that you haven't done before? Yeah. Um, like I said, with the force plates, you know, I'm seeing it every day and then I'm getting the results that I want. So that definitely opens up more of a comfort level to trying different things. And then when you have a guy like Brady who, you know, this is his profession and this is what he does for a living, um, there's no reason not to trust him. Um, yeah. What have you seen out of the freshmen so far? Anyone in particular standing out? Yeah, I love our freshmen. Um, all of them are great. Um, I think I talked about it before, but they're just, they're not typical freshmen. Like when I came in as a freshman, my body wasn't looking like theirs. Um, and just the way they approach things, you know, playing basketball in Kentucky is not easy, uh, especially for a 17, 18 year old kid. And they have handled it great. They come in every day and compete. Uh, they look great. They just handle it like pros. So they've been doing really well. I think doing this yesterday, Casey and Chris both did this sort of tour stop mm -hmm. yesterday, their first taste of Big Blue Nation out like this. Do you remember the first time you realized that this is what Big Blue Nation is like? My first time. I just remember when I transferred, everyone was you know, telling me like, oh, you have no idea, you have no idea. I think when we went to the satellite camps and just seeing, well, obviously the kids there, but then seeing like the parents and then like grandparents and all the little kids that were there that wanted pictures and autographs. Um, that's when I kind of figured it was, it's a little bit different here. No disrespect to Iowa, but I'm sure it's a little bit not to the same level as it is here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little more ramped up here. Um, Iowa did have a great fan base, though. Um, there's not, I don't think there's any professional teams there. So like Iowa, all their sports was like the main, you were the main deal. So they had a great fan base, but this, this out here is crazy. Uh, these fans are great, I love them.